I would describe Quantum Quarks as a robotics team, but also so much more. Um, we're a group of people that gets together to work towards a common goal, which is to build this robot. And through it, we grow as people and we grow as engineers. A really memorable moment for me was my rookie year on this team. And we were at our first competition. It could not have gone more wrong. The robot is spinning around in circles. The audience is laughing. We take the robot off the field and I hear the team members saying to each other, that's okay. It completely went haywire. We had no clue what went wrong. Um, and we had five minutes to perform diagnostics, fix it, replace the batteries, redo the wiring, and get it back out on the field. Um, and that was just a moment of, it was one of those times where like time dilates, right? That five minutes felt like forever um, as we were just running around getting all this stuff working. They gathered their wits, they fixed it, and it went out the third time and worked. Quantum Quacks means more than just a robotics club to me. It also means a way to meet new people and to especially meet experts. We um, do a lot with different experts in different fields and we get to learn new things. Well, it started simply enough. I had a friend of the family that had heard about this Lego robotics and said, um, Alan, you might really like doing this. And so I decided that I would give it a try. That was 10 years ago. After seven years of Lego robotics, um, the team really wanted to stay together. And so but they were aging out. And so we created Quantum Quacks. The name problem is a problem we always have. I'm fairly into quantum computing, um, which was where I was at right around when we were starting the team. Also the joke, what do you call a subatomic duck? A quark? <laughs> we had an opportunity to bring the robot and show it off at Nutanix. This was good not just for the students getting experience showing the robot, but it was good for numerous Nutanix engineers that would come over and would ask questions and would provide suggestions to the students. Have you thought about doing it this way? The thing about Alan that uh, really pulled me in is just his own enthusiasm about the team and his uh, confidence and pride in, in their abilities. Because without that, uh, I wouldn't have gotten involved. He hooked me when he showed me, you know, some clips of stuff that they had been making. I, I just, I knew I could help them up the, up the production value a little bit. In addition to the robot, we also put together these video presentations. And that has been huge for students finding out that they had skills and interest in an area they knew nothing about. The kids are brilliant, you know, like it's, it's amazing to see um, their depth of knowledge already. The time that we get from volunteers, both those in and out of the professional world, um, is invaluable to us. Coach Allen has been very important to me and the team, especially because he highlights my strengths and tries to help me with my weaknesses. He is very good at helping people flesh out ideas. We use robots to build students. Yes, very few of these students will become professional roboticists, but all of them will work with other people, all of them will work in groups, and all of them will take the troubleshooting and interactions that they learn here to be successful in their life. It's given me opportunities to like meet other women in STEM, and it's given like a platform that like you're able to like get support and like help from others. To anyone who might be on the fence about um, joining an organization or donating time or money on behalf of Nutanix, I would just encourage you to, to find that something. One of the great things about the Dot Heart program is it mobilizes employees. They can donate their time and Nutanix will match their time with money. You know, it's, it's the type of um, human interaction that doesn't happen on a Zoom meeting.